Any Hoosers, do you know, Michael? What is it? Wars of Stars. Wars of Stars. The untold story of a young man and his Muppet. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Spaceballs. In a galaxy far, far away. Mike wants to go over the best Star Wars movies, and now we can only do this. And the worst. And the worst. Because Nick's not here, and Nick's a big old Debbie Downer. And the burst. Yes, please. So, there are seven, or Jesus, hold on. Are we putting Rogue One in there? What about The Last Jedi? We've seen it already. No, no, not definitely not <laughs> filming this two months in advance. <laughs> um, We're going to pre-talk. Oh, my God. We're going to, I mean, we could speculate a, a skosh on there. Skosh. But, skosh. I mean, skosh. the best one I, I know. Does everyone know the best one, in my opinion? Empire. Yes. It's the easy answer. Now, Mike says, when we were talking about what we are going to do before this, he doesn't really remember some of the older ones. No, I remember them. They just gelled together for me. Yeah. Just, I think just, like, watching them so much when I was younger that even, like, re-watching them when I'm older, like, it, it I don't know. Well, this they is just the, all gelled together. Well, this is the thing. Ones. As a younger kid, I fucking loved the prequels. It was, like, fucking Jedi everywhere and all the shit happening. It's not so you're older where you think about them. And I'm not one of these prequel fucking haters. I don't think they're good Star Wars movies, but it's more Star Wars, yeah, they, so I they like also them. Came out like like you said, like it was we were, like the prime age to oh, we were perfect for them to come out to yeah. where like it, you couldn't hate it as a kid. No, but now yeah, but I still like I said I still like it. It's more Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, to me, the easy answer is Empire. The most things happen in that movie from start to finish. So much goes on. It leads perfectly into Return of the Jedi. You get the big reveal at the end of Empire about Darth Vader being his dad and spoilers. Plus you have you have Hoth. You have Hoth. It's, my God, that Let's fucking go, battle. Of Hoth. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah, that is my. That's how the, one. Yeah, that's how it starts. It's fucking dope. With the fucking uh, what are those things called? Ad-ad. Tauntaun. No, the fucking man bear pig. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Like, uh, worm. Really... Something with a W. Uh, he goes into the Tauntaun. Yeah, he fucking. So you're fucking talking Leonardo about the... DiCaprio's a you're bear. Talking about the, um, I can't think the of the name. Yeti. The bear. Yeah, the yeah, Yeti. The Yeti. I don't know if that's what it's called. But... It's something with a W. Or a Y. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. It's a Wampa. See, I told you a it was wampa. a W. Wait. <laughs> the back to tank. The ba- <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah, that's the same movie. It's also the movie... Wait. Is this... Oh, no, this isn't... Is this the one where they kiss, or this is only the one where she kisses him on the cheek at the end? No, they, they just kiss each the, other's they kiss in the first. They kiss in A New Hope. Leia and Luke. Oh, yeah. yeah. See those minor details, that weird... Fucking. I mean, incest. they didn't know. Yeah, but it's like weird that How he chose they that no, road. It's they're in fucking. Oh no, they space. have no reason yeah, to know. George Lucas knew that sick that's, fuck. That, yeah, that's what that's what we're saying. I mean, shout first off if you haven't seen it, go watch. This was my favorite video growing up, and Mike knows it because I showed him a hundred times. Star insult, Wars kid. No, insult. Uh, Triumph the insult comic dog goes to the premiere of Phantom Menace. Oh, yeah. That video oh, is fucking. Right. Aw- I showed you a hundred percent. Yeah, you've definitely seen. It. I mean, showed me, but uh, <laughs> George Lucas actually wouldn't have known that though, because originally that was just supposed to be like a one-off movie. It wasn't. There was never any. Well, that's why it's from start to finish. More. It's a complete movie. Well, yeah. I think. I think he. I'm sure he, he had, had ideas. Yeah, but... like a. But no, they didn't. I don't they think didn't. He planned on doing anything after that, though. No, they didn't they... realize the success it was going to be. Yeah, that's no what idea. I mean. Like, because oh, it was a relatively, it wasn't a big budget film. Or <laughs> no, not at all, dude. They had to make so much caveats. If you look into the making of that film, like uh, the reason all you know how the bands are all that fucking like weird same guy, it's because they couldn't afford other aliens. Like he wanted to do different aliens, and they couldn't afford it. So. I'm going to go off Empire, and then, I mean, to me, the next best one is but wait. R- Return of the Jedi. But wait. Why? If we're talking about the bar, real quick, 
The Rogue One. That I was gonna is go there. the only dude that gets sliced by a lightsaber where there's blood. Really? Wow. Yeah. I didn't think about it. Yeah, dude. His blood doesn't coagulate. Interesting. That's because everyone else dies in space. <laughs> we just <laughs> said the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> coagulate. It's a great word. <laughs> no, but yeah, lightsabers are supposed to sear the wound the second they hit it anyway, so there wouldn't be blood. Oh, you don't know what kind of breed it was. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of species it was. A it, wampa. Was. it was not a... Oh. No, it wasn't. No. It was not a wampa in a bar, god damn it. Two wampas walk into a bar. <laughs> Could have been Watto. Yeah. Shout Ani. out to Watto. <laughs> Ani. <laughs> or uh, what's the bounty hunter from Battlefront 1? Boba Fett. <laughs> Cl- clone daddy, Django Fett. All right, let's move on. All right, second best Star Wars film, Return of the Jedi. Uh, No. You're going with the original one? A New Hope. Episode 2. Episode two, episode two for <laughs> every single one. <laughs> the best, the, the worst, and the everything in between. <laughs> Fucking, it should have been the best one. Which one? Why? Attack of the Clones? Attack of the Clones has the last like 30 minutes of that movie. Oh, it's really awesome. awesome. Yeah, with no, all the Jedi. Good. All right. This is all I got to say about it is that if they stuck with the storyline that Jar Jar Banks was like the evilest Sith in the entire Did universe. Did you ever read that yeah. whole thing? That, and they were supposed to do that because there's hints in the movie yeah, that, he's that a he Jedi. should have been. Yeah. But they just didn't do it because somebody, I think George Lucas didn't want to no, do it. No, be- because toys. And they wanted to fucking try and sell toys. That's how or all it, these or characters were. wasn't it were. just the audience reaction to him? And he fucking bitched out because of it. I mean, that might have been after one. But all, so many pe- so many people in Star Wars are designed. And that's how it originally was. Because he basically created action figures like with Star Wars. Like he You saw that again up. in the, uh, the Last Jedi. They're already going to sell another BB-8. And now... This other sh- little fucking stupid... It's pom- the, the Pog- P- Porgy. Porgy? Por- 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 something like that. There's Pog- an evil dr- uh, BB-8 too. Yeah, it's like bb I It's something fucking stupid. Like BB-8's BB a perfect... <laughs> no, it's like we, it's got a letter in there. Which, I don't even like BB-8. No, honest. I think it was cool. Because R2-D2 is a fucking OG. Well, let's let's talk about The Force Awakens, because I love The Force Awakens. Force we're, Awakens we're jumping around, might be my number bro, three. We're jumping around. Yeah. Well, Force Awakens might be my number three. Because to me, I, th- I think I like it more than the original. I just... The original is like the last one I think about wanting to go back and rewatch. When I like want to go back and re- rewatch a Star Wars movie, it just... Don't let don't this know. distract you from when the druids attacked the Wookiee planet. <laughs> <laughs> that was Revenge of the Sith, right? When the Wookiees yeah. get attacked? Yeah. Cause she... Revenge of the Sith wasn't bad either. I, I love that movie. I like Revenge of the Sith. No, because it shows you... It's such it, an it evil, shows you... badass, dark movie. Yeah, it, yeah. Sho- it shows you the turn of Anakin. It shows you how he, he aided he the Emperor to take over... He fucking slaughters the fucking Jedi the, school. ...the galaxy. As we're talking about Revenge of the Sith, because so many key deaths happen, can we talk about... Wait. Snoke for a second. He's a bitch. Who the fuck Snoke? We is it Windu? Knows. No, it's not. Windu. Is it the Chancellor? Yeah. The cha- no, I hate the Chancellor. There's no way it's they're not. gonna retcon that he's back. It's not. No, I basically think this is like a new, like the most powerful Sith of the universe. The cha- kind of thing. You think it's the guy who trained Palpatine? Plagueis. Yeah, Darth Plagueis. I don't know if it's Plagueis. I don't know. I don't know what. But who gonna, the I fuck? I hope it's an original. I, I don't know. No, I think it has to be somebody. Because why wouldn't they just tell us at I this point? I feel like he's like in one of like the book storylines or some shit. Like I don't. Probably, I don't know if they could. I, mean? I don't think they could do that though. It's got to be a name. Because why keep it such a mystery then? Like you would just tell them. We got introduced to every. We got fucking Phasma out the ass, and we didn't even see them in the movie. Well, she's coming back in the yeah. In well, because the they realized they fucked up. No, well, I. Just, I think what, <laughs> we just push this. I honestly think what Gigantic. happened was uh, <laughs> they probably had a whole like thing for her, and for some reason that like scene and whole thing didn't work out, and they just had to do something they cut to it, yeah. show her. It's such a cool fucking character, but yeah, Snoke. I, I almost, I think it might be Windu. Like, I really, Solo. I think it it's might not be Mace Windu. It's Han Solo, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, playing both sides. It's not. It's not Mace Windu. 
That's the theory I like the most. No, nah, it's a decent one, but I mean, it makes nah. sense. No. He would hate. He would hate the Skywalkers. Is Luke gonna be bad? No. Is Luke's Ray gonna, gonna be bad? Luke's gonna die. Exactly. How that, do we shift to this? What were we on our list? Because I was talking to Revenge. Of we the, were talking about Revenge of the Sith for the clones, and then we went to Force Awakens. Well, that's and then what. Revenge see, of the that's Sith, a, Star Wars is so Force much Awakens. fun. I fucking love talking about Star Wars. All right, real quick though, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. When Anakin starts to go on his fucking rage when his mother dies, did you not get like chills up your spine when he's in the desert and he's oh about to God. just go like rage on the fucking sand Tuscan people? Raiders. No, that was an Attack of the Clones. That he ra- that he destroyed them. Was oh it? my God! Yeah, because he goes from there to Geonosis. Yeah, he uh, fucking. Oh, that's the end of the, the movie, right? Yeah, that's where you you see hints of different things. That's why Attack of the Clones was was key. I feel like I don't know. Yeah, that's the, the more is I that think the very about end of the movies, movie. The more like it's so there are un- pieces of them that are. That's why yeah. I'm saying it's so tough to like. We should do the best of the prequels, I think, and like we can't. It's yeah, so but, hard to put them all together because each of them have key. Like first off, Darth Maul, which they fucked up the whole fucking tr- no, trailer by killing him. Qui Gon, the bat. Qui- I, you, people could argue that Qui Gon is the one of the greatest ass. Jedi's we've ever seen. I mean, because he was technically the yeah the beginning of it, the master well, of I mean, Kenobi. Seen. I mean, yeah. General and Kenobi was he a was badass. he was also Liam Neeson. So there's that. <laughs> but, like you can't say Luke dumb. is the the greatest Jedi of all. No. What the fuck what did, did what the what the fuck he do? <laughs> you know, he it's fucked funny up about everything when uh, fucking. Uh, I don't know. Well, he could have, but he left his Jedi training with Yoda to go help his friends. Let me just, uh, like, the very first fight you see Darth Vader in when he fights uh, Obi-Wan. Oh, so anticlimactic. Oh, my God. That is the worst fight oh scene ever, and it's so hard watching uh, now, but I actually uh, read, <laughs> stuff like about, I yeah. read stuff about that, and, like, in that movie, they actually, like, George Lucas thought of the lightsaber as more of like a huge claymore from the like medieval times. So like he thought of him as like a two handed wielded like sword. Like it would be like take a while to like actually full swing and shit. That makes sense. Now so that's how they thought about it, but then they changed it. Like this is the thing. Like everyone gets really pissed too because it's like, oh, you gave Yoda a lightsaber and he's flying through the air. Well, people, I don't like that argument because all the fights we see in the originals. Or with all fucking older people really having lightsaber battles. You're not seeing younger people yeah. in a lightsaber battle. That's why they hate fucking Yoda that he sp- like. I don't think they need to make Yoda spin through the air as much as he did that because he's supposed. Goofy. To- that was goofy because oh, he's supposed to be awesome. It was cool when you were younger, but still, he's supposed to be the Force man. Like he should have been everything about the Force. Yeah, that that was him using the Force. You don't. Oh see yeah, because he, oh, yeah, he had to meditate. Like walk. Yeah, but. but- that, I mean the the jet, the lightsaber battle in in Phantom Menace was probably the best of any of the movies. Oh what yeah, I mean, Kenobi, oh my god, Maul and uh, Qui Gon. At the Just, end of it, oh my god. When do you remember so getting good. those? I still get the chills thinking about when he fucking clicks in the other one. Yeah, well, because we didn't oh really my know god. what he had yet. And then you see him pop the other oh, side yeah. out, and fucking, he just starts. He's fun. Out. He's in uh, Battlefront. How? He's over. He's how? so overpowered. Why did they kill him? <laughs> He tech, I mean, he's what technically he, not dead because could he they, be, is he Snoke? They, well, they retconned him. Could he be? He could be Snoke. No, he no. just thinks everybody's Snoke. Who's Snoke? Darth Maul is literally tatted from fucking head to toe and has spikes coming out of the top. That's why of his he's head. Mace Windu because he got zapped to shit. Snoke is Windu twenty seventeen. Windu is Snoke twenty seventeen. I have. I mean, you could think whatever you want. I don't. I'm not going to assume anything because I'll just let it be. Well, you didn't see the newest trailer as well. I I also don't even feel like they're doing anything smart with these movies. I feel like he's just going to be his own character. It's going to be kind of a letdown now for me. (laughs) What? Because he's Mace Windu. (laughs) (laughs) He's got to be somebody. He's so mysterious and he's the fucking super evil guy. He's the one who plucked fucking... uh, What's his name? Kylo Loren from the Solos. I don't know. I just like after seeing like The Force Awakens, how it literally mirrored. Um, no, that the other one. I feel like they're just not going to do anything I, listen, like really like clever. No, they the are. Other movie. no one I, knows what the story of this. This is what be. this is what I said. 
and I, Kevin could probably vouch for it. The moment I walked out of the theater, I was like, that was awesome. But how good this movie is is going to be dictated by how good the next one is. Because if the next one, if this well, is Rogue Empire, one ten times better than yeah. Force well, but that's a separate thing. But if if this movie, The Last Jedi, is just Empire, which I don't think it is from the little I've seen in the trailer, then I think Force Awakens goes up even higher for me. Because Force Awakens is it, it's safe. It is I a new hope. I don't think but Rogue One was better than Force Awakens. No. No. Oh no, I that liked I liked Force Awakens better than Rogue One. But that doesn't take the to me. They're like on seconds, different planes. The last like ten seconds of Rogue One were fucking badass. Was awesome. <laughs> oh no, I loved Rogue One. Don't get me wrong. And also, that's the only uh, Star Wars where everyone just dies at the end. Yeah, it's very dire. Well, you knew it was gonna happen, but it was movie. so cool too that like going through that movie, I it didn't click till the end. Like while I was watching it, I didn't think that. Neither did I. Like I that they were all going to die, it, yeah. you know? I wasn't thinking about it at all. But we knew going like, into it. I think that's why the ending is also so intense, too. Just well, like because, take your, like. I mean, because you heard, like, you heard in A New Hope, you heard about all the. When they mention that yeah. scenario, you don't hear about any of them. So yeah. it's like they don't—they never mention any of these characters. So there's no way any of these people. Well, yeah, and there's out. also the there's thing no that people way. get pissed about because Mon Mothma and. Uh, I guess it was return. Say many Bothans died to get us these plans, but that was for the second Death Star, and people got pissed at that. I got originally pissed at that until I figured that out. Oh, that's another thing. If if in the Last Jedi, if they if they're creating another <laughs> Death Planet, I know, thing, I'm I done. know, I'm checking out. I think it can't be. That's it, done. No, because they did it. Literally well, how else weekends. are they going to reign the universe? <laughs> Let's create. <laughs> Let's create a weapon the size of a fucking earth. <laughs> but you can sneak into a little hut and burst one generator and the whole thing fucking implodes. Like, give me a gold. break. The golden Star Wars way. They should just make a big maid with a vacuum. They'd switch it from that's to blow. <laughs> that's the one thing that I didn't like about Force Awakens is how that... That weapon, like that whole thing, was on such a grand. The weapon was on such a grand scale, but the movie took place in such a small. No, that's what I'm saying. There was I never once was like fear to the weapon. Like when you were younger watching like the original, it was like it was the fucking Death Star. What do you mean the weapon in that one was fucking badass? That thing was taking out was moons and planets. Yeah, but that the was the thing. Time. It took out too many, and they did it like without batting a fucking lash. Like all of a sudden, he just to fucking destroy seven planets. Yeah. Well, like no, what was, the fuck? It was. It was taking out the planets, and then it's moons all around them. Yeah, but still, it, but was, it was like... I don't know. It was cool because you saw, like... I don't know. It was see, just cool seeing it from the well, planet. Yeah, you, gotta, you saw, like, the laser yeah, beams through the atmosphere and shit. That, it was a cool scene, but still, it was like in the original. They blew up Alderaan, and you see fucking Leia just, like, devastated. And to me, that was more impactful than fucking the Force Awakens. I just think the, well, she was the just scale coming of, off of a cocaine binge, that's, so that's probably... That's fair. <laughs> the scale of everything made a lot Rest more in sense in the originals because... The other, I mean, this one was like, it was literally a weapon the size of a planet, and you were only seeing something that you were seeing an area of that planet the size of like New York yeah. or something. It was like it wasn't, it, you weren't seeing a massive area. I think I come down that. Oh my god, I'm, I'm actually having a harder time picking the worst Star Wars. I just kind of want to do everyone's. This best is Star actually Wars. a bad time to do this now that I'm thinking about it because if we waited. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna talk about Star Wars again when the last. I know, comes but out. if we waited, and then we would basically just rate it from best to worst trilogy, and count oh, Rogue One about. in this new trilogy. Well, this is the, well, the question is: Is this trilogy just gonna continue, or what the fuck are they gonna, gonna do gonna afterwards? A, it's gonna be a yearly. Oh, I know. I know we're getting okay. a Star Wars movie every year, but are they going to continue this trilogy or are they going to space it and all do no, characters I, I in the like next trilogy? You don't think this would be the last one of this story and then they're just going to do spin-offs? No, nah, I, they're no. Gonna keep it going. They have to do a trilogy. I think the spin-offs are I think they're perfectly set up right now. Although The Last Jedi just Did you see Did you see, did you see they announced the name for the Han Solo movie? No. Han. <laughs> you're you're <Solo>. close. <laughs> it's yeah. It's just called Solo. Solo, a Star Wars Solo movie. Solo Dolo. And I don't know how I feel about that, but I also don't know how else. Why? Because he he's going to be movie. a solo smuggler until he meets Chewie, and it's going to be sweet. Yeah, but why couldn't it be like a smuggler's tale or something? Like some, I don't know. Something with the word smuggle. Why is it, it's literally just called Solo. So you already see like people photoshopping <laughs> Solo written on a red Solo cup and like shit like that. Like 
all that stuff and it i don't know i, I don't know. that I one's like gonna be it but yeah I... a smuggler's tale though is like too disney for disney to do for a star I wars guess. movie i just that I one like... i think this one is gonna because there's no doubt to me that the last jedi is gonna be good i mean it, I don't think there's no ch- chance for it to really be a bad movie at this point. They have all so my what confidence. Would you do? But Star Wars, the Han Solo movie, that's the first one I'm nervous about because Rogue One, I was all about. It was easy. I have it was a safe in, bet. I have faith in Ron Howard. But, yeah, but I mean, they got to redo Han Solo. That fucking actor got a lot to build up. I'm just saying about the angry internet people. And I love Amelia Clark. What, what would you do? <laughs> what would you do? If in the Han Solo movie, him and Chewie end up end up crash landing on Earth, and then Han Solo turns into Indiana Jones, <laughs> and Chewie is now the Bigfoot amongst Earth. <laughs> See, I almost wish they would do fucking stupid shit with some of these spinoffs. That's a comic. Not book. that is it really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. But I want them to get like. Where's the Watto solo movie? Let's find out about Watto. Watto could go suck it. Let's find out. Whoa, that's the little flying guy. Yeah, how did the Ewoks live? I like that guy. Tatooine. How did the Ewoks live? A movie about Tauntauns. The Ewoks? Yeah. You can make a fortune off the Ewoks if you did it right. (laughs) Yeah, just make a shitload of plush toys. That's it. That's what they did. You know the big thing about Ewoks in the original movies? Then when they went back and redid them, that George Lucas was very mad that in the, his first run of them, he couldn't get the Ewoks to blink. <laughs> that was a huge thing that he redid when he was able to go back and correct the movies. Making the Ewoks blink. And the best Star Wars movie is Empire. And on that note, that concludes another episode of the 4Play Podcast. Each day of the week at youtube.com slash 4Play Video, you can subscribe to our, subscribe to our channel <laughs> and check out any other video you want (laughs) got some fans in the audience thank you thanks out there thank you out there (laughs) keep coming back every day new videos but sunday and we'll see you guys all next time thank you guys for watching or listening please subscribe to our youtube channel at youtube.com slash foreplay video if you like what we're doing make sure to smash that like button Be sure to share all our videos with your friends so we can uh, continue to grow. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.